with every man in here, whether he knows it or not, is a tree, is a builder, is a farmer, sowing something into those that the Lord has given to you to father or to teach or to mentor. Jesus made it plain. You are men sowing seed into others. This seed is either good seed or bad seed. This seed will bear fruit after its own kind. And you will answer to God for what you have planted when judgment day comes. You are sowing men whatever is in your heart. If there is good treasure in your heart, then you are giving that into the lives of those you are influencing. If there is evil treasure there, if self is still on the throne of your life, then you are speaking that evil, that sin, into the lives of others. What's in your heart, men? Do you live for self? Or do you live for your Savior? Are you happy serving your God, serving your wife, serving your children, serving your friends, serving your brothers and sisters at church? Or do they have to serve you in order for you to be happy? Are you often moody and grumpy? Are you happy only when everything at home and everything at work and everything at church is exactly the way you want it? Or has the grace of God done such a transformative work in your heart that you love the Lord your God with all your heart and you love your neighbor as yourself? That you love your life, your wife as Jesus loved the church and you will lay down your, your life for her? Has the mind of Christ come to change your priorities? And has the Holy Spirit come in to sweeten your disposition? Do you want to be a good father? Then you must first be a good man. Do you want to be a good man? Then get off the throne of your heart. Quit being the pitiful king of your own little castle. Lay down your life for others as Jesus did. Take up your cross daily and follow him. If you do, Jesus will deposit rich treasures in your heart. And your greatest goal and satisfaction in life will be giving those treasures away to others. I am blessed to have a wonderful biological father who lived this way, and several fathers in Israel, like John Swales, almost all of them now home with the Lord, who also sowed good seed in me. So let me end by being very frank with you. What you are sowing is what's in your seed bag, and your seed bag is your heart. And it's a waste of time if you've not been doing a good job as a father, as an influencer, to sit here today and say, I resolve to do better. Resolutions won't do it. You know, you are what you are. And in fact, you're probably doing the best you can right now the way you are. If you want to be a better man, a better father at home, in the community, in the church, then you must have a literal change of heart. And that only comes through repentance and close communion with the Lord Jesus Christ. Only then can you bear fruits worthy of repentance. Now whether you're a good man right now or not, you can always be a better man. You can always have more treasure. You can always give more of that treasure. If you want to be a better man, if you want to have good treasures in your heart that you might give away, I want to invite the men of this church to come to the front and stand here for a closing prayer. If we're, if we're better men, 
If we're better men, we'll have a better church. You'll have better homes. We'll have a better community. We'll have a better country if we're better men. And resolutions won't do it. It's that. It's not a change of mind we need. It's a change of heart. And so as we pray, if there's anything that you've not been doing that you should or you have been doing you shouldn't, just repent and ask the Lord to forgive you and make, it, make you a better man, make you a good man who out of the good treasure of your heart can give good things to those the Lord puts in your life.